Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. It's Mr. Marshall here. I'm Susanna. And uh, Susanna, what did you bring to the table today? So this is the Arkham Knight. It's a new plane that I just finished. Um, so far, I think it's going pretty good. And today we're going to be doing uh, my first uh, maiden flight with it, and I'm pretty excited about it. So this is your prototype, right? Yes. And so um, it looks awesome, by the way. So here's the, so the, I guess the symbol's supposed to be like this, right? Yeah. So you should be able to see the head and then the wing with the control surfaces there. And then of course her belly pan. It's awesome. <laughs> and the way she did her, her airfoil was really cool too. But what are some, um, what are some changes that are going to be needed on this one to, to make on your final? Like what's, what's the next step here? Well actually you were talking about the airfoil and I'm actually going to change it just a little bit so that okay. it doesn't look so messy with the tape here and I'm going to make some modifications to the canopy and uh, to this part of the top of it just so that it looks a little better but okay. other than that I think it's pretty good. Yeah and the canopy she just got a velcro in here for right now. Nice little short set up there. Well, it's, it's perfect. She's run a 40 amp ESC uh, 2200 LiPo which we could I think we have to have it in there for the weight to keep it uh, the center balanced correctly, but I bet you we can go down to even lighter, like an 1800 maybe. Um, and then she's running the 22126 motor, and this thing is super fast because we had already tested it out to make sure all the center gravity worked in that, and now she gets to fly it to kind of get the feel of it and see what she has to now move, you know, move to move forward. So it was awesome. A little screwy at first until we got I got the hang of it, and then it flew perfect the rest of the time. So. Um, she's running an Elevron setup with her back, back setup here, and it's 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 pretty good. So you've been working on this. This was like towards the end of last year, right? Yeah, I started it maybe a couple months into the second semester of last year, and it was actually going to be something different. My original goal was to just make something that flies, and then uh, Mr. Marshall made some changes to the body, and I thought that it sort of looked like the Batman symbol, so that's what I made it into. Yeah, and when she started to start to submit the her changes, I'm like, wow, this is starting to look really, really cool. Because you spent probably what, a good month on on CAD. Yeah, just design. On just design itself. I mean, she really put a lot of heart and soul into this thing, and it's it's starting to pay off because it looks awesome. Um, and we we've, we've got a thing going on. We've got uh, the Dark Knight that was done originally long, mm -hmm. like five years a while ago. ago. And then Ashton revised it with long wings. And then what's the most difficult of all is to start completely from scratch. I mean, she started from scratch, designing everything from scratch. So it was um, to be able to come up with this and to be able to work perfectly on the first flight um, when we made it uh, for test flights last week it was, was pretty impressive. You should be proud of yourself. Well, I'm done talking. You want to go out and fly it? Sure. All right, let's go. Come in real hot. So um, crazy 
maiden, right? Yeah. <laughs> you made a crazy plane. Um, so with that said, what were some of the difficulties when, when you were flying? I think some of the difficulties were definitely, I just need more practice flying, but it always wanted to be heading down. And I think I'm gonna work on that a little bit. Okay. And then, um, you know, we have to have a lot of control to, to make sure that it stays up. So we, could, we might actually do another test and make sure the battery can go back even further. And maybe that'll help the float of the plane. Yeah. Um, also, too, that we need to make maybe make sure too that maybe we maybe extend this out. Yeah. You know, and so that we have a little bit better control of it. Um, definitely something to think about in terms of if it's hard for you to do right now because of the the tricky moments. We might be able to calm down the rates and might be able to do a couple more flights to see see what that does. Um, but in terms of design. She's she's right on. I mean, that's what to be expected with a small plane like this with a small wingspan It's gonna really want to turn when you want to turn and so um, Other than that you, you made a super fast plane. I think we we're only flying like at what 30% 40% half the time Yeah, so it was it was pretty crazy, but other than that good job Susanna um, I would say look for what next couple couple weeks. You'll have a yeah. final out and ready to go shot so build videos and See where it kind of takes us from there, and maybe it'll get uh, in a outside hobby store and kind of go from there. Cool. Thanks for watching. Awesome.